Hey, welcome to Algebra 1 Lesson 27 in the Saxon Math Book. Um, <clears throat> today we're going to talk about two different things. One is uh, property, and the other is simplifying decimal equations. So let's talk about first about the um, distributive property. Distributive means to distribute. Um, so let's go to the next frame and take a look. All right. So here we have 5 and then in parentheses x plus 2. So if we distribute the 5 over the x, we have 5 times x and distribute the 5 over the 2, we have 5 times 2. So what we would end up with as our answer to that would be 5x plus 10. All right, here we have 5x distributed across 3x and across 6. So we have 5x times 3x plus 5x times 6. And when we do the math, that would equal 5 times 3 is 15, x times x is x squared. And 5x times 6 is 30x, so plus 30x. Alright, and then finally here we have 5 times 3x squared plus 5 times 2x plus 5 times 6. Alright, so let's do the math. 5 times 3x squared is 15x squared plus 5 times 2x is 10x plus 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, go to the next page. And here we have another example. We have negative 2 on the outside, and it's going to be distributed, in this case, over 3 terms in parentheses. So we have it being distributed over 3x squared, over negative 7x, and over 1. So this negative, it's going to be important that you see that this negative distributes right along with the 2x. Okay, so it's going to change some signs here. All right, so negative 2x times 3x squared is negative 6x cubed. x times x squared is x cubed. Plus <clears throat> negative 2x times negative 7x changes this negative sign to a plus 14x squared. And then negative 2x times 1 is negative 2x. And so our simplified answer would be negative 6x cubed plus 14x squared minus 2x. All right, let's go to the next page and talk about decimal equations. Okay, in a decimal equation, the simplest thing to do is get rid of the decimals. So to do that, you need to look at which one has um, the most decimals to, to get rid of. And that would be, in this case, it's going to be this middle term right here. It's got 2. So we need if we move this over 2, then we have 2m. But we can't do that and keep everything equal unless we do it here. <clears throat> 1, 2 which would be 40 plus 2m equals, and then we've got to move it to here, which would be 460. And then we're going to solve our equation like we normally would. Subtract 40 from both sides. We have 2m equals 420, and we're going to divide by 2 on both sides, and we're going to have m equals 210. All right, go to the next page. All right, and this one, this one right here has got three that we've got to move to the right. So one, two, three gives us 2K plus one, two, three, 20 equals one, two, three, 4,020. 
and I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. And then I have 2K equals 4,000 divided by 2, and K is equal to 2,000. Isn't that much simpler than having to come up with all those decimals? I knew you'd like it better. All right, let's go to the next page and work our practice problems. Okay, these two are going to say expand by using distributive property. All right, so that means I'm going to um, multiply this xy squared over this term and over this term, keeping this sign with it. All right, so x, when we multiply this, we have x, we have y squared times y squared, which is y to the fourth, p, minus x y squared p. All right, here it's just written back. The only difference this 2x y is going to distribute over here and over here, keeping this sign with that x. So 2x y times x y would give us 2x squared y squared minus 2x squared y. All right, next page. All right, here we have two terms that we're going to distribute this over. And we're going to keep this um, negative sign or this minus sign with that second term. 3x p to the third and p to the fifth gives us p to the eighth minus 3 x times x squared is x cubed p to the third times p to the eighth is p to the eleventh and then finally d we have this that's going to be distributed over both of these terms and we are going to have 2x squared, and m squared times m squared is m to the fourth, minus 2 times 4 is 8x squared m to the third. All right, next page. And here we're going to deal with our decimals. This one has 2, so we're going to have to move everything to. And now we're going to have 8x minus 10 equals 1,670. And we're going to put plus 10. And we're going to have 8x equals 1,680. If we divide that by 8, we have 210. Alright, and last but not least, go to the next page. Alright, in these, each one of them only has to move the decimal one place to get rid of it. So we have 7m plus 6m equals 34. And if, if we add 7m and 6m, we get 13 m equals 34 and if we divide by 13 m is equal to either just leave it as 34 over 13 or we could say that 13 will go into 34 two times that would be 26 with 8 13ths left over. So either one of these answers would be fine. All right, enjoy your math, and I will see you for Lesson 28 next time.